I'm setting up the drone to fly it out for the intro. Harry's on already. That didn't take long. Sea Robin. Okay. Was that the first cast? Second. Second. Woo! What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Welcome to another episode and for those of you who don't know me, my name's Steve and uh, today we're out here doing a little bit of fluke fishing again. I got my buddy Harry here behind me. Drone's in the air. He's already got two fish so he's got a head start on me and uh, we got some high tide coming in. Hopefully that'll draw some of these fish in. We'll fish a little bit of the outgoing tide and see if there's some fluke around. That's the plan. Let's get out there guys. Two to nothing already. Water feels good. Got to reel in the first cast because it's bad luck. <laughs> bad luck to catch fish on the first cast. So today we're starting off with a bucktail. This is a one ounce bucktail. On top of that, I got a little three inch uh, swimming mullet on the top as a teaser. And that's a pretty standard rig for fluke if you've seen the other videos you know that i use bucktails and gulp a lot when i'm fishing for fluke maybe with the drone here you'll be able to even see it better basically what we're doing is casting that gulp out there that bucktail letting it sink to the bottom and while you're reeling in slow you're just going to start jigging very slowly what that does is it creates a nice wobble on the bucktail and the gulp and the fluke really key in on that when it's just bouncing off the sand on the bottom. Dude, my man Harry's on fire here. Four, in, like four in a row. Oh, foul hook. Yeah, okay. There he is. Yeah. Feels okay. A little fight. Could be a sea robin. It is like his head's down. Nice sea robin. That's a big one. I have never done a sea robin catching cook. Woo! Sea robin. See you later, man. I don't know, man. I kind of want to do sea robin catching cook. That looks good, man. Whatever the heck you got over there. Harry's dialing. Oh, there we go. Double. Two on, baby. Ah, sea robin. Yo, these guys are asking to be cooked up. So there seem to be a lot of sea robins down there. We're just going to keep working the beach, keep casting and hopefully find some fluke. Tide's coming in a little bit more now. Once that tide switch is outgoing, I think that's when the bite's gonna really turn on. That's not a fluke. No, what is it? Whatever that is, is big. Is that a blue? No. Oh, it's a double. No way. Yeah, with a big, oh my God. Oh my God, look at that sea robin on the bucktail. <laughs> what? You hear the sound it makes? Yeah, do you hear that? Yeah, we haven't really dialed in the fluke yet. I mean, I hope that we can start getting into some more. But if the sea robin are around and we hook one a little bit later into our trip, we'll do a catch and cook with it, because I haven't yet. Yep. That's a sea robin. I could just feel like a like rapid head shake. What? No, it's not. Fluky. Oh, that's heartbreaking. I think he's short. Yeah, he's a heartbreak short. You want to check? I I think he's like 16. A little short. First one of the day for me. Hopefully, there's more like it. I don't know why I thought it was a sea rob, and it was just shaking his head a lot. Okay. 
Okay, man. All right. Sea robin. Gosh, these sea robin are thick. Oops! <laughs> Whoa! I was moving my bag. Gosh! See Robin. We got another double here. Oh, that looks. You might have a keeper. Harry just pulled in a fluke. Let's see what I got. I got a fluke, but he's short. Ah. Uh, short, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Double fluke. Going back. All right, guys. See you later. Harry just got another big robin. I mean, look at these things, man. How's that, man? Oh, oh, oh that is good. Keeps a nice pressure. Uh, double, he's got a double. Dude, this guy, man. Double on the Robins. Whoa, crushed it. Whoa. Fluke! Fluke! Oh. Oh. Fluke! Woo! If it's a short, I don't know, I think it's 18. Oh yeah! Mouth closed, good to go. Oh no, 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 it's not. It's heartbreak. Seven. No! Mouth closed. Where's the end? Nah. Oh man. That's a heartbreaker. I don't know, it's man. Very He's, close. Try any, anybody would keep this. Try anybody would keep like, this. So how you want to measure this? Mouth closed, right? Yeah. Put that zero right on his mouth. Yeah. Nah, that is like a. You pinch your tail on these 18. Yeah. But we're gonna let him go. Let him go. This is too borderline. Nice fluke. Keeper. Kind of. <laughs> Anybody else would keep this, but he was like too close to 18, so we're gonna let him go. Maybe pinch the tail on these 18, but how many sea robins do you think that was over there? I don't know. I lost count. I, think I don't know. Maybe 15. 15, right? So I know you're not supposed to leave fish to find fish, but we got a lot more beach to work, and we're looking for those flounder. So. It's only a matter of time. Fuck, man. Dude, what is with you? Double C Robin. Right. There we go. What is going on today with these C Robin, Harry? It's all C Robin. getting a little crazy now with these sea robins. So we ended up catching some more short flukes, some more sea robin. Couldn't quite get that keeper fluke like we were looking for, but I did take one sea robin home for a catch and cook. So let's go ahead and cook that fish up. All right, everyone, we're back in the kitchen. Got my sea robin here. Last night, I kind of gutted it, took the head off. It's not filleted, we still have to do that. I've never filleted, never eaten sea robin, anything like that. So this is a true first impression on sea robin. Today I'm gonna do a coconut and almond crusted sea robin over some Asian kind of stir fried vegetables. I think it's gonna really turn out good. So let's start off by filleting this fish. I don't know why a lot of people call this a trash fish. We're about to find out. 
for the first time, is Sea Robin actually a trash fish? Just gonna start treating it like any fish and make my incision right there. And there's rib bones there, just like any other fish. Okay, all right. It wasn't really too bad to fillet. I know you don't get a ton of yield off of it. So see Robin have these bones that also run through it. You can cut them out or you could just grab them and take the pin bones out. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a quick little crust that I'm gonna crust the fish with. It's gonna start off with some coconut flake, some chopped cilantro, some chopped almonds, and you just give this a good mix. For the fish, just a little bit of salt and pepper. Just put a touch of olive oil on the nice side of the fish and lay it right on top and give it a nice press. All right, so we're gonna start off by putting that bok choy in there. A little salt and pepper. Add a little bit of mirin. A little soy sauce. Put those off to the side. Now the mushrooms are going in. Mushrooms are looking good, so we're going to add these peppers and onions. All this stuff usually takes pretty quick, and I throw the snow peas in there too. We're going to add soy sauce, so I'm not going to put too much salt or anything in here yet. Now while that's all looking good and sauteing, we got a pan over here that should be nice and hot. All right, we're going to add that filet almond side down. Got a nice little color on the coconut. Oh yeah. Real nice. And we're just gonna finish off this stir fry. Little mirin. Soy sauce. A little bit of hoisin. And I just remember I forgot to add ginger. You know, it's towards the end right now, but I forgot to add it in the beginning, but no biggie. Let's start plating this up. Alrighty, so that's it. Got the stir fry, the crusted fish, and I'm really excited to try this one out. First sea robin catching cook ever. Let's see how it is. Mm -hmm. I like it. I mean, obviously it's done up with the coconut and the almonds, but you can taste the fish. It tastes really good. It's a nice white flesh, moist. It's really good. Man. That's really good. <laughs> oh my god. Robin again. Oh my gosh. Mm. Wow. This is really good. I love the crust. Look at that crust. I mean, who would have thought Sea Robin? Amazing. Really amazing. If I knew that's what Sea Robin tastes like, I would have kept one years ago. <laughs> years ago. I was surprised. It was good. Tastes like any other, you know, white fish. So that's it, Sea Robin Catch and Cook. This fish is delicious. 
Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know if you think C. Robin's good or not. I think it is. And uh, I'll see you next time on The Line Cook. Empty plate. C. Robin nuggets. C. Robin meat. C. Robin quiche. <laughs> C. Robin was not what I was with. <laughs> and uh, if I skunk on fluke, C. Robin's a good option. Ah, oh, so close. And I'll see you next time on The Line Cook. What do you got to say, Mara? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> She's on me. Okay. Flat shot.